Hi, uh, I'm Peter Bracken, Head Chef at Horticulture Newcastle. Uh, thank you very much for getting in week one for to your home. Uh, this video is to show you how to do the land, sea and earth meal. So first thing we'll do is uh, we're going to unpack the, the package, take everything out, look at it, understand what it is. First thing we'll break, take out is a little brown bag with some flat threads in it. There'll be five of these little containers with different numbers on them. We'll run through those in a minute. One of these metal ones. Uh, a good idea is to have something like this tray, uh, chopping board or something like that, just that you can put the stuff onto so you know it's clean and you're not cross contaminated with anything. Got um, a little packet with some dressing in. On a green piping bag with pumice in. That's actually a biodegradable piping bag. We try to uh, use as many recyclable and biodegradable things as we possibly can. And then there'll be one box there. So, so it's uh, a good idea to have a thin setter when you're doing this, when you're unpacking everything, just so you can get rid of the stuff. So, inside your box. Here we go. Uh, it's where most of the stuff is. So you have a packet with some couscous in. It's got uh, red onions, red peppers, cucumber, and Israeli couscous. You have a packet with uh, cauliflower steak in it. So that's been confit in brown butter. Packet with some chicken thigh. The slow cooked bean goulash. And the sweet potato curry. So that's the contents there, everything that you need to do the whole piece at home. So we're next, next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the stuff, drain it, um, get it all ready to cooking. It's the most important part of setting up to do a service in the kitchen, the same for you guys in this instance. If we have everything out ready to cook, it's going to make it much, much easier later on. So spend five minutes doing this properly and uh, we'll be much better for it. So I've got myself two plates here. With tray cloths on, you can use kitchen roll. Um, yeah, just basically taking the moisture off stuff. So, just with my scissors, going to slip the bag for the chicken open. So there should be two chicken thighs in there. Just going to break, take them apart here. Try and be gentle because it is already cooked. So, two chicken thighs there. Wipe my hands. And the cauliflower is saying slip the bag open. Out onto the other tray there. And then we're going to get, um, we're going to need pan wise for this uh, menu. We're going to need two frying pans. We're going to need two little saucepans. So two little saucepans there. Uh, we use skillets in the kitchen to cook with. We use them so we can put stuff um, in the pan straight into the oven. But um, in case you don't have skillets, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the oven on now. It's going to be on 180 degrees. And we're going to put a tray into the oven that's nice and hot okay so that'll be hot for when we need to use it later on carry on <laughs> unpacking <coughs> if you open the <coughs> excuse me if you open the uh, prawns they'll be in a packet I've already opened these up and I've spread the butter on them but just uh, open the bag put the prawns in there spread the butter on so the prawns as best you can um, but yeah so that'll be ready to cook they're raw, so watch you don't put those with any of the cooked things, keep them completely separate at this point. The couscous, we're going to open up and we're just going to pop it into a, a microwave safe dish, ready for later on. So you just break it up a little bit in the bag, so it doesn't stick together too much. So 
and we're going to put a little squirt of water, a uh, little squirt of oil, sorry, a little dash of water. That'll be ready to for later on. The dressing, we're just going to snip the corner off the bag. Just going to set this up in a, any, any dish, a ramekin, a uh, little egg cup will be fine, but just something that you can put it in to dress with later on. Try and get as much of it out as you can, you don't want to waste any. So set, set that aside for later on. Then in your two saucepans, take your packet of curry, then snip that open. And empty that into one of the pans. Get as much of it as you can out, you don't leave any in there. Put that over in the stove, ready to go later on, not on the heat just yet. And the same with the bean goulash, open that up. So the slow cooked bean goulash into the other saucepan. So uh, we're nearly ready to start cooking now. What we're going to do is we're just going to plate the hummus up first. Uh, just get it out of the way. One last thing to play up later on when all the other food's hot. So we don't have to worry about it then and stop the other food from getting too cold. So take your hummus, snip the end of the bag off. Um, and I've got a one large plate and a small ramekin, small bowl, something like that. So just put the hummus into the into the middle of the bowl. Try and get it all out of the bag. There we go. Then just tap the bottom of the thing and it'll settle down to its own nice little level there. Um, if you look on the, the little pots, which have a, a one which says 2.1. Got some crispy chickpeas which we're going to put on the top of the hummus, just like this. And then we're going to put one spoonful of the haughty dressing on there. So this is a combination of a chili and paprika oil and a green herb oil that we make using leeks and chives. So we'll just put that onto the top of that there. And then we've got the uh, homemade sourdough flatbreads. Um, do what you want with these. We can you can flash them warm just before you eat. I don't. I quite like them cold. And um, we just rip them up. You can cut them up however you want to do it. But for me, if I was sharing with my girlfriend, that's how we would do it, person. So we'll just pop that somewhere safe, out the way for now, knowing that that's ready to go. So the first thing to get cooking now is the chicken, which is going to take longest. So we'll take a frying pan. Just pop it onto a, onto a medium heat while that's coming up to temperature. This is really important. We need to get another bit of kitchen roll uh, uh, J cloth like I'm using. We want to really dry this chicken off. If you don't dry it off, it can be really quite spitty and it can burn you on your arms and stuff like that. So just pat it dry. Get as much of the moisture off it as you can. And then we're going to use some table salt and we're just going to spread it all over the skin. Be quite generous with this because you want it to form a, a little layer between the chicken and the, uh, the pan when it's cooking. So now if we come over, um, a little bit of oil, right. you want to see uh, about a millimetre deep in the whole pan. Um, not smoking hot because it's going to go into the oven, you don't want it to scorch it. You want to try and get a really nice golden crisp to it. So, you can always tell when the oil loosens up. So it's like, it looks more like water, it doesn't look as thick and as viscous as it does originally. And then place the chicken in. The thing to always do is to place it away from yourself. 
in there and hopefully if it's not too hot it shouldn't start spinning straight away so with that one place it in there gently place it away from yourself and at the same time we're just going to pop on the the goulash and the curry which is in the saucepan we're going to put it onto a really nice low heat we're not looking to we're not looking to get these really really hot now just a little bit of uh, temperature into it and you should be able to start to hear the chicken start to sizzle a little bit so looking at about two minutes like this push it down if you have to just make sure that it's nice Um, the next thing is the cauliflower. So we're going to put the cauliflower into a cold pan. A little bit of salt on both sides of the steak. You don't need any oil with this because it's actually been comfied in brown butter. And what will happen is as the heat comes through the pan, the brown butter will come out and it'll color up the uh, cauliflower itself. So you want to again put this onto a medium high heat. So we'll pop that in the back there. Just mixing here is there, the curry and the goulash. You see it's starting to change colour, the curry is the heat going into it. Um, if these are starting to get a little bit dry, the curry and the goulash, we always keep a little bit of water next to our cooking section in the kitchen. We literally just pop a bit of water into them um, to stop them burning. After a few minutes of the chicken, you should be able to start to see the colour change on the skin. Starting to get a nice brownness to it. Not quite there yet. Just be careful when you're touching it. No, there is really hot oil in there. As you can see, the cauliflower now, the, the heat's starting to come to it and the brown butter will start melting out of it. And it'll colour up really quite quickly, this cauliflower, so you have to keep an eye on it. So when you've got a nice colour on to the chicken, like this photo comes in, you want to look at putting it into the oven. So the, the tray which we said earlier on was in the oven getting hot to 180 degrees. You want to pop the chicken in onto that tray, skin side up. Skin side up there. Yeah, the pan it is hot. So you can see the on it down now, starting to smoke, the butter's coming out of it a little bit. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to go black, you want it to be that nice gold brown colour. Like that. If um you can add a little bit of oil in if you need to, if you think it's a little bit dry, it should be okay. But it's not on full power with the cauliflower, it's just a general medium high heat. Watching your curries and your goulash as you go. Now uh, I'd probably pull the goulash and the curry off now, off the heat. 
That's really nice colour there on the cauliflower. You, it's okay to get a nice dark caramelisation on it. It will help the flavour of it. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to pop that into the oven on the same tray as the chicken. So our preheated tray. Um, if you're one person's vegetarian, one person's um, eating meat and fish, then obviously you would put them on two separate trays. But if you're both eating both uh, versions, then it should be okay on the same tray. Um, so while they're in the oven, they'll be in the oven for about five, seven minutes, something like that. So I'm going to stick a timer on. That's five minutes there. And at the same time, I'm going to pop the, the prawns in. So the prawns that we opened up earlier on, uh, it's got the butter on there. In the butter is uh, Trinity Spice Blend and uh, garlic. I'm going to pop those on another shelf in the oven, so they'll be ready around about the same time. Um, so we've got uh, one minute left on our timer for the chicken and the cauliflower, which means we start getting the goulash and the curry hot again. So we'll just pop that back onto the heat. Um, should only take, because they've already warmed through, should only take uh, 30, 40 seconds for them to get really nice and bubbling. At the same time, we're going to take our couscous, and we're going to stick it in the microwave. Now, I don't have a microwave in my kitchen, uh, so I can't actually do this, but you'll get the idea of it. So, stick that in the microwave. It's going to take about a minute to two minutes, depending on your microwave, what setting you have it on. Just make sure it's nice and hot and steaming when it comes out. Um, after a minute, check it, give it a mix, you know if something needs longer in the microwave. Then you've got these tubs here, labelled, they've all got numbers on them. So you've got 3.1, which is the puree which goes on the bottom of the cauliflower. And you've also got the rice, which is 5.1. So they'll go in the microwave at the same time when the couscous comes out. So just imagine that's been a minute in the microwave, it's all nice and hot and ready to go. And we'll stick the the puree and the rice in the microwave. Again, you're looking about a minute, a minute and a half, and they'll be uh, just, you know when it's hot, it's steaming and it's good. And that's my chicken timer and cauliflower timer gone off. So what we'll do is we'll just put the oven down in temperature to 120 or down low or switch it off and close the door, whichever, whatever's good for you. Um, and there's our goulash and curry, nice and hot and bubbling. So we'll bring those over to where we're going to start plating up the food. The hot rice and the puree. So what we need to do is we need to grab two little bowls, three little plates. We're going to start putting the couscous on one plate. So the hot couscous onto one plate. There we go. Just spread it around, nice flat surface for the chicken to go onto. Next we're going to put the cauliflower puree, we're going to take that one out and we're going to put that onto the next plate. Just using the back of your spoon, spread it around, nice circle. Try and get it as even as you can. It'll be easier for you guys when it's hot and when it's cold. And then we're going to put the, the warm rice into one of the bowls like this. On one, I'm going to do it on one half, decide how you want to play it yourself. Um, then we're going to go with the curry into the other half of the bowl where the rice is. Get it all in there, like so. Nice hot goulash into the next bowl. Just give it a shake, let it flatten out a little bit. Then we're going to take the chicken and cauliflower out of the oven. The prawns are still in there, we'll come to them in a minute. Then we're going to put the chicken on top of the couscous. Like so. 
on the cauliflower, on top of the cauliflower puree. Like so. You've got uh, two, of, two pots left, which is 4.1. 4.1 is the garnish which goes on top of the goulash. So just spread that out around the goulash like so. Um, you've got chickpeas in there, sunflower seeds, toasted coriander seeds. And then we've got the garnish for the curry, which is 5.2. So we'll get that on there. In there you've got cur chopped coriander, you've got crispy chickpeas, sunflower seeds and puffed wild rice. Put that on there like so. And we pull our prawns out of the oven. So they've been cooking in the butter there, um, really, really nice. So we're going to pop the corns onto the plate. We cook them with the, the shell on and the head on because um, what happens is all the flavour comes out of the shell and the head with the butter and it makes a really really delicious sauce so give that a little mix around in the tin so that's got all your garlic and everything in there and then we're going to pour those over the prawns like so and then finally on the goulash some of the dressing dribble around in there it's got uh, paprika and herbs in it like i said same with the chicken and Finally, the cauliflower. And you had your hummus that was ready earlier on. So, here is your hummus. Chicken fried tagine, comfy cauliflower, your sweet potato curry, smoked with bean goulash, and garlic and chili prawns for Horty at Home Week 1. So guys, thank you very much for doing a uh, Haughty at Home. If you could please uh, add us on social media if you don't all have us already, but uh, tag us with pictures of what you've done in the house. Um, it's just Horticulture NCL on whichever platform that you use for social media. Um, the next menu for next week's out now. Uh, thank you very much and hopefully we'll see you soon.